Hello everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to another aircraft mod showcase inside of GTA 5. Today we're going to be looking at the Airbus A330-300. This is from Skyline GTR Freak. We've got it in a Delta uh, livery here. But I'm going to show you all the liveries available on this plane here shortly. Um, but this plane first uh, took its first flight, maiden voyage, in 1992. Uh, entered uh, service, you know, essentially in 1994. Um, and it's been used by a lot of different uh, airlines, um, domestic in the U.S. and international. Um, and I don't know. I like, I actually flew on an Airbus um, when we were coming back. And I'll tell you about my Delta uh, snafu, if you want to call it that, um, when we fly today in this episode. But I actually flew back in an A340 or an A320? A320 probably. Um, on the way back to Harrisburg. Uh, and, you know, it was actually a pretty nice aircraft, at least as a passenger on the plane and uh, ride quality and all that stuff. So, I don't know. I'm excited to get out there, do another aircraft showcase since it's been a while. And uh, we will fly this baby in this light snow that we've got going on right now. So, let's get out there and see how this plane does. All right, I'm shutting the engines off here so I can show you the livery. Uh, options in somewhat more of you know a quiet situation there they go they trailed off we're gonna go into vehicle options here and we're going to go to um, vehicle livery menu and we're gonna show off like I said I'm picking the Delta skin I'm gonna be talking about Delta for the most part today uh, we got Scandinavian Airlines that actually looks pretty cool we've got a Eva Air Hello Kitty based uh, livery we have American colors which let me get out of the snow oh let me get you a little closer there too though um, we have Air Lingus, we have Air Asia, Lufthansa, US Airways, Air Canada, Korean Air, Qantas, uh, KLM, which is I think the Royal, I think it's Dutch. I'm not 100% sure. Air Transat, and back to Delta. Um, so yeah, let's start this baby up and head out on our flight. So this is very similar to the conditions that we were flying in the other day. So last week, um, yeah, it would have been last week now. Put them on. Last week, we flew down, me and my girlfriend flew down to um, Texas, to San Antonio for PAX South. And on the way back, Delta had any systems outage, uh, very much so, unfortunately. Let me turn my map on real quick. Um, they had a systems outage, which is always fun, um, that unfortunately grounded us for about three hours. And then um, after those three hours, we proceeded to stand in line for another two or three. It felt like uh, a really long amount of time. Uh, when we when we landed, the pilot said, oh, well, the good news first, we landed about 10 minutes early. Um, the bad news is that uh, we're going to be sitting here with the 20 other planes trying to gate. Because when you have a system that is like that, planes can't leave, planes can't. It was it was a mess. It was a big old mess. Um, let's go ahead and leave here. Be full power. I'll show you uh, the first person in a second here, too. Oh, I like actually the snow coverage on here. It's actually pretty cool. Let's take off here. Gear up. And we're going to fly... Um, where do we want to head? I kind of want to head towards Sandy Shores, but... We'll... We'll try to, um, yeah, we'll try to head towards Sandy Shores over there and, and go from there. I'll show you this. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful plane. And Delta's colors are very simple, but I, I do like them. Okay. So let's get on with the point. <laughs> All right. So this is what happened. So we got that. We had to go in. Systems were still down, by the way. Systems were down till. I got, I think, 4 or 5 a.m. the next day. Um, and our flight was rescheduled, so we had to make a connecting flight from Atlanta, which is Delta's hub. We had to make a connecting flight from Atlanta to the HIA, so Harrisburg International. So it wasn't that bad, and you know, but the delay pushed everything back three hours. Initially, like, the Delta app was broken, but the Google app had said, like, oh, it's, you know, rescheduled or delayed or whatever, and that was fine, because then we would be able to make it. And it was scheduled for, I think, around, like, 12.30, so a little after midnight. So I was like, fine, that'll be good. Uh, but then we're still sitting on the plane, and then it switches to canceled. And a lot of other people's flights, same deal, canceled. 
So that's not good. Um, so everybody's flights were pretty much canceled. Uh, a bunch of flights for the next day were canceled, regardless of if they were your connecting flight or not. And uh, we're stuck in Atlanta, basically. And uh, the the help desk, uh, you know, I applaud them for doing what they could. But at the same time, when a, when the systems are down like that, they're pretty much calling in, dealing with that kind of stuff. Let's go to first person here, and I'll show you this. Um, they're dealing with all that kind of stuff, and they're having to call essentially for everything. It was a giant cluster. Um, so I was pretty displeased. This is the first time I'm fl I'm flying Delta. I usually fly Southwest, and my experience was honestly not the greatest. That being said, after the fact, so we, we stayed in a hotel that night, and then we flew out at 7.30 p.m. the next day. Uh, mind you, this is when, when our flight got in at 7.50 the, the previous day, you know, the day that we originally landed in Atlanta. So that was a mess. Uh, we got into our hotel at 4 a.m., got a few hours of sleep, luckily, and then, um, you know, they're going to reimburse everything. And that's the thing. Their customer service, after the fact, after their systems were probably up, after they got, you know, approval to make everything right kind of thing they did um and i'm not complaining about them in any way in that aspect um because they did they issued miles to me they issued travel vouchers for a couple different things i'm waiting for those to hit my account but like they issued travel vouchers and they're reimbursing for all the travel expenses but man what a like i said a giant cluster when system outages like that happen i think we're gonna fly here over the wind turbines over here right yeah so if this is your first time coming to my channel and watching an air showcase, this is a little bit more story-based. I usually talk more about the plane or talk more about what I'm, I'm what I'm trying to do. Um, but this one, I just wanted it to be more like my regular GTA 5 mod showcases or like some of my GTA 5 episodes where I'm talking a little bit more. Um, yep, we're flying over the wind turbines here. Everything looks so odd in light snow because you have enough visibility to see everything, but stuff is popping in and changing on you and stuff. I could try to land this at Sandy, but what I'm going to do... Oh, I'm going to avoid the airspace of the prison. Not that it matters. Why did I just see the shadow of a plane going that way? Not see, Okay. Did not see any traffic in the air, but I had shadows of of a plane. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a flight simmer. Uh, but that being said, I have an uh, interest in planes and interest in that, and, I, you know, I'm, I'm dabbling in it. Or, yeah, dabbling in it. Uh, and one of the ways that I do that is by showing off these planes inside of GTA and bringing you along for the flight. So we're going to fly probably back here to, San or to right back to uh, Los Santos International. And uh, I don't know. I, yeah, and I was also impressed by the Airbus, so I, haven't, I hadn't really fly flown an Airbus before. And, uh, you know, they get a bad rap, I think, by a lot of people in at least the Americas because we tend to fly Boeing for the most part. The one thing, though, is when we got rebooked uh, or, a, you know, a new a new a new flight and I'm going over, I'm going over the military airspace. Oh, God. Hope I don't get shot down. Oh, no. They shot my. Oh, no. Let me see if I can fix my vehicle. Um, you know what? No. Let's see if we can get to the airport. We might have to fix. Oh, God. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna fix. Fix! Fix! Ah! Oh, my God. Do, can we pull it up? Oh, that looked a lot closer on the cinematic cam. All right. Well, there's the title for my episode. Oh, plane gets shot down at the military base. Oh, man. Okay. So, yeah, unfortunately, these don't coast or, you know, glide uh, after their engines fail, which is really unfortunate because I would really like to do way more uh, or a much more emergency stuff as, as well as some more realistic flight stuff in GTA, even though I know GTA is not a flight sim by any stretch of the imagination. I just want it to be realistic. Okay, so sorry. Back on the back on the, the story, essentially. We were then re you know, rescheduled for another flight next day. We flew an uh, A320 up to Detroit. And then from Detroit to Harrisburg, we threw on a CRJ900. I hate CRJs. I just hate them. I hate them. There's hair, the attached hair dryers on the side. And uh, they call that a plane. Um, 
I don't know. It's just uncomfortable. We had to de-ice too, so they had to turn off the AC on it. Not that we were um, weren't cold because it was extremely cold outside, but it was like really, really hot on the plane. The air, the air con on us. Sorry, I just want my mic. The air con on and uh, CRJ is horrible. So it was just uh, the flight back. Luckily though, we, we, were, we arrived safely and they got us home. We are coming in real low. Oops, don't want to put my landing gear down yet. But seriously, look how low. We're, we're going to have to go higher to land. The logic there. The logic there. But yeah, like I said, I, I like the uh, the Airbus for its passenger passenger amenities. It was a nice plane for, for us. Uh, oh my god, look how low I'm coming in. My landing gear about to hit those lights. You see this? It's not a bad landing, though, other than the fact that... Oh, look! We got the jumbo on our right. With super legit landing, right? Oh, man. Okay. But we can pull over here to the side. We're not going to taxi back or anything. I'm going to pull off here. Not that GTA puts any planes on here, but we'll pull off to the side here. And shut ourselves off. Let's just do, 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 perfect, super realistic, right? That's what we're, that's what I'm known for. Perfect, engine off, so those are going to wind down. Uh, but if you guys like this video and you want to see more mod showcases, you want to hear st more stories from me about this kind of stuff, please let me know, like, and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, also, you can get this plane from Skyline GTR Freak. Uh, the mod link is in the description, as well as a link to his channel if you want to see his works in progress. And uh, he also does his showcases of his planes on over there in a, usually a much shorter um, way than I do. So if you want something more concise, maybe there. So uh, thank you for coming along here in my story, my Delta story. Other than the fact it, it ended up good, like I said, it, they, they made everything right. Um, and that's all that I can ask for. So until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.